Final story. I think uh, an important story, and and I think you'll all agree with me, a good story, a, a good outcome, at least for now. We'll see how this uh, works through the court. But yesterday, a, um, a, a judge in Texas uh, ruled that uh, the Biden administration did not, did not have the authority to, um, to do the, the student loan forgiveness program. Uh, the judge ruled that that should have been a legislative issue and not uh, an executive issue, that it was beyond the authority of the executive. I'm always happy when the executive power is reduced. I think executive power in the United States uh, has, uh, has, has just got, become ridiculous. Executive orders, uh, it, it feels authoritarian. Uh, we have a system of checks and balances. We have a system that delegates to the legislature certain things and a system, a system that delegates to the executive certain things. And we've completely abandoned that system where executives now do a lot of what the legislature should do, including uh, uh, in, including elements of foreign policy and declaring war on tariffs. You know, the uh, tariffs should be something the legislature passes. No, the legislature has given that authority to the executive. Well, in this case, the court ruled that the executive does not have the authority to unilaterally uh, do away with these student loans. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lengthy uh, decision. It's not a, a lightly held decision. Now, it is... A, um, a, a Trump appointee, uh, but I don't think that's going to matter. I, I think, uh, you, you know, we'll see uh, whether the Biden administration will appeal this. There's still no word if they will or not. Um, but as of five minutes ago, CNBC is reporting that the Biden administration will stop taking applications for student loan forgiveness. So a win. We got a win. And as I've said often, I actually think the healthiest portion of our system, our system of government, in spite of Hobbes, the healthiest portion of our system of government are the courts. I, I think you're going to see the courts, particularly the Supreme Court, rein in executive power, at least to some extent, but more importantly, I think you're going to see the Supreme Court rein in um, uh, the authority of agencies, uh, of, of regulatory agencies. I think there's this important um, there's going to be significant work uh, to rein in uh, the power of the EPA, of, of, of different regulatory agencies, and giving the power back to the legislature. Now, I think, I think a lot of what the legislature does should be ruled unconstitutional. I don't think that will happen. But at least we're going to see the, the, the um, uh, what do you call it, the what people call the administrative state, the regulatory state reined in by, by the courts. Now, this is counter to uh, the new Republican judicial theory, theories coming out of Vermeule in, in Harvard and others, and we'll see how long they have before they have an impact on the courts. Uh, Vermeule and, and, uh, you know, and others uh, who argue that the administrative state should be used more and should actually be grown from a Republican perspective to impose right-wing ideals on us. But that, that is not the position of the court today. Uh, people like Gorsuch and even Alito, but Gorsuch and Thomas have a, a decent uh, view, a good view of of uh, of re regarding rating in the regulatory state, and that's going to be one thing that I think is going to is going to the courts are going to do well. And I think here's another one. Um, I think this court would have ruled Obamacare unconstitutional. Um, I think this composition of the court. So uh, things like that are going to be ruled unconstitutional. Things like this are going to be uh, are going to be sent back to the legislature. Things like this, um, like the student loan forgiveness, are not moving forward, and that is good. That is good. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show. We make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, 
Thank you. I very much appreciate it.